How's it going, good friends? Brian from Apex Detail. You guys requested this quite vigorously, mind you, to go out and grab the PNS Brake Buster and see what all this hype is about. I'm not going to waste your time. Let's get right to it. Today, we'll put the double black brake buster wheel cleaner through the Apex Detail review process. Wheel cleaner, tire cleaner probably would do a decent job uh, taking care of your wheel wells. I hope we're going to give it a try. Guys, it's only $22.75 for gallon. It's dilutable. You could use it full strength for browned tires, uh, baked on uh, brake dust for wheels, real bad wheel wells. But Five to one, you can cut it many different ways, put it in a foam cannon, your uh, Merrillex foamers. To be honest, I really wasn't blown away by some of the videos I've seen. Um, some of them really didn't seem like it was carrying uh, a lot of the dirt away. I know it doesn't turn purple like iron removers. Uh, some other videos I've seen scrubbing like H uh, to get it clean. And then you have the rest of them that are just trying to sell it. Nothing wrong with that, but that doesn't help me either. So I figured I would do a video. Uh, check it out myself. Doing a wheels off, I do want to take care of the wheel well. So what I'm going to do is we'll use half of the wheel well uh, and use a cleaner I normally would use there and use the PNS on the other side. And then when it comes to the wheels, I have this one off, ready to be cleaned. We're going to work on the barrel, not the clean face of the wheel that has hardly anything on it. I'll put a, uh, a tape line down through the middle and I'll use my regular wheel cleaner on one side, the PNS on the other. And then I have some... Uh, tires out back that are browned and we'll use the normal tire cleaner that I use on one half and the PNS on the other just to compare them. I don't want to put one product down or another. I just want to see what there is to compare this product to because I've just seen it in videos by itself. Uh, so let's get started with this. Okay, let me adjust the light here so you guys can see. That should work. From here forward, we're going to use Ultra Tough. Just did a video on that the other day. From here back, P and S. Spray P and S on, wait a minute, that's what they want you to do. So we're going to spray both products, wait one full minute, and then we're going to rinse. See what kind of power they have with no agitation at all. You can, when I do a wheel, I, the first time I like to spray it and then rinse it, get rid of all of the grit. Brake dust is one of the most abrasive um, uh, materials to come in contact with your car or your wheels. So... The more you can get off before agitating or wiping them, the better. So that's what we're going to do with all three of these tests. And then uh, we'll do a second round where we agitate it with a soft detailing brush. And just compare. There's the PNS. It'll go back here. Ultra tough up front. We're going to let that sit one full minute, then we'll come back and rinse it off. Take a look and see what they're both of these are doing. It's the ultra tough right there. PNS right here. I have a white towel underneath, so when we rinse, you know, one of these sides is going to have uh, you know a darker collection of dirt from the fender well. That's another way we can tell. Another 15-20 seconds or so, and we'll rinse. All right, they have had plenty of time to sit there and dwell and emulsify and break down the dirt. Let's rinse both areas. Thank you. 
will help the drying process with the air gun. Alright, so we can see in areas it's broken down some of the dirt, a lot of it still remains and not a whole heck of a lot of it has dripped down. We have one spot right there. So let's take care of rinsing and drying the other area. Okay, so with no agitation, and there's the puddle for the PNS. They both were pretty close. Looks like PNS broke it down a little bit more. And since it's the better price, Ultra Tough is a little pricey. Uh, the PNS would be the better buy in this situation here, but we have two other situations to test out. Uh, I'm going to now spray it back on and get a brush out and just do a little bit of an agitation and see how much better we can get the, the fender well here. We'll wait a minute, then I'll get a little bit on the brush. Rinse it. Dry it a bit. Okay, so that did a, a very good job with very little agitation. So it's done well in here. 
By the way, when you go to do your calipers, spray it directly onto the rotors as well. The product has anti-corrosion properties to it. By the way, not too bad on the caliper and rotor. A couple areas in here I wish it would have been a little bit stronger to get. Uh, it is at full strength. I'll just go over it again. It shouldn't take much anyway. So not bad. The barrel and the back of the spokes, the back of the face of the wheel here, we're going to use uh, Eagle One on one side and PNS on the other. You know what? We'll put PNS on first. First time we do this, we're going to spray it on, let it dwell, and then rinse. And then the second time we'll agitate. Okay. Let's let those dwell for a while. Just because that's turning purple doesn't mean it's going to clean any better than that side. We're going to find out here in a minute, but let's let them dwell, do their work. Then we'll rinse. All right, they've had just a little over a minute. We're just going to use the gentle shower, rinse that stuff off, see what the products alone have done to the wheel first. When it comes to wheel, I mentioned before, I like to do one pre-treat before, uh, spraying it on, rinsing it, trying to get as much as that grit and brake dust off of there first. Then I'll come up, put it back on, and then agitate and get, on, uh, get the brake dust off of there that's you know, contaminated, baked on, Okay, so when it comes to wheels, it's a little blotchy, um, but this side is a little bit cleaner than that side over there. Uh, more of an attempt, a lot more spots where you can actually see the wheel. This here um, doesn't really look like it has done too much. All right, let's get it back on there and agitate both sides and see what that does. PNS over here. Equal one over here. Let them sit for a minute again, then I'll come in with uh, some soft brushes and agitate. All right, we'll use this one over here. All right, I really didn't go too crazy on that side. I'm not gonna do, uh, I'm gonna try and treat both sides the same. Just a little bit different brush, both of them soft bristled. Let's rinse. Okay, both sides very good with agitation. This side probably uh, a little bit better. There are a couple areas here where I, I missed, um, 
but they both did good. But since you have the price of PNS, if it comes close to another product, uh, you might as well go for the one that's cheaper. Eagle One isn't really that expensive either. Uh, you could pick it up for dirt cheap at your local auto parts stores. But there you have it. Not very much of a difference between the two. Here's a tire that's quite soiled, starting to brown. Half of this will be the Adams tire, rubber and tire cleaner. This side here, PNS. Adams over on this side. PNS over here. Both sides you can see the brown guck or mess or the browning of the tire breaking up and running down through. We'll give them a minute and rinse. Okay, long enough. We'll give that a minute to dry, come back and take a look at it, see if there's a difference between both sides. In the meantime, I'll show you how uh, it can be used for a face of wheels in uh, a sprayer, a pump sprayer. I use Marilex, uh, a foamer. Cut it five to one. Absolute perfect way to clean wheels that are already protected. Maybe you have a coating. You don't need anything really strong or aggressive. Um, cut it five to one in the Marilex foamer here. Foamer is so smooth when it comes to application. All right, just let that dwell for a minute. Rinse it first, and then uh, do your second uh, application. Then agitate, and the wheel will be nice and bright and clean. One thing of note, the tire shine that this gentleman was still using uh, it did not remove that. It wasn't strong enough to remove that at 5 to 1. You would have to hit that, of course, with full strength. Other than that, the wheel came out nice. All right, brought the wheel and tire and dried it off, and you could see the wheel is nice and bright. Did a very good job. Still, after a second try, could not get the tire shine, the previous tire shine. I, I got to ask him what it was uh, at full strength. Barrel of the wheel, nice and bright and shiny, did a very good job. Let's go out and that tire should be dry by now and take a look. The Adam side, a little bit cleaner with some agitation. Sure, it would have come clean. Uh, I guess with the dilution ratios, that would be the better buy. So it's up to you. Do you want to do less work or pay a little bit less? Completely up to you. you I mean, everybody, uh, their opinion is subjective. I just wanted to show you here. And it's time for the final thought segment of the video. The PNS Brake Buster. Is it a good product? Yes. Is it cost effective? Yes. Does it do everything it's supposed to? Yes. To make this short and sweet, would I go out and replace everything I have for wheels, tires, wheel wells with this? Absolutely not. If you're running low on a wheel cleaner, a tire cleaner, whatever you use for wheel wells and you want to try something new, pick it up. It's not going to set you back. And when it comes to effectiveness, I'll let the video speak for itself. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. Brian from Apex Detail, catch you in the next video.